here that the man's attempt to put the fire out left him with burned hands actually from trying to put his daughter out and then the woman really yeah and then the woman lived through the combustion but slipped into a coma and died shortly afterwards so wow that is strange that's crazy okay i'm looking at this one here we better watch out <laughs> oh, oh no it says there's a study it says on the combustion of the human <laughs> body produced by the long and immoderate use of spiritist liquors oh my god this was a study of 15 cases on human combustion, right? And here we go. Here are they. Uh-huh. All victims had made immoderate use of spiritous liquors. Oh. It only happens to women. All were far advanced in age. Oh. All, oh. all were lit by outside sources of fire. In most cases, some extremities were left behind unburned. Oh. Water sometimes boosted the fire rather than extinguish it. <laughs> The fire were mostly conf- uh, confined to the damaged bodies, and fires reduced bodies to ashes and stinking, penetrating soot. I don't so like. We're screwed. I don't like <laughs> dem odds. Dem odds are not good. No. <laughs> As I'm sipping my Merlot. I know, as I'm sipping my oh, Bud Light now, currently. Good. I started with something else See, early, maybe but they're this talking is about They're talking about hard spirits. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, this is true, but I did just finish vodka. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was gonna take a I was gonna take a watermelon shot. Oh well, next time. It's it's not the oh, same without you. That was so good. Tasty. I wish we could share now. I know. I'm so sorry. That sucks ass, man. Stupid virus. Stupid virus. Stupid fucking COVID asshole. Stupid COVID. I have one here. I guess we'll sign off soon. Ooh. I think we're hitting the thirty mark. Oh, but... hang on, just wait. What? I have in popular fiction it says up to Yes. 1834, the idea that the strange fire deaths were being caused by either internal combustion or pre-natural, what? Huh? Pre-ternatural combustion had merely been a debate in journals that aimed for a relatively small number of educated gentlemen. In that year, however, popular author and Royal Navy Captain uh-huh. Frederick Marriott published his book, Jacob Faithful, in which the lead character describes his mother's death by prenatural combustibility oh. it's clear from the text of the novel that Marriott must have read pierre whatever study on strange death the circumstances and demise of his mm. mother in the novel uh da, la, la, she was old Shit. intemperate and fat Shit. enough that she had only really left her bed in the past two years so the unusual death of this background character doesn't seem to have raised much of a political stir at the time it was probably the first mention of these deaths and the debate about their causes that was presented to a larger group of readers in popular fiction story about 20, 20 years later, spontaneous human combustion was once again presented in popular writers' work. At that time, it was not allowed to to sneak to sneak by quietly. Hmm. Anyway, that was kind of cool. They're drunk. They Some don't can, know. There's a picture. Mr. Crook meets his end in Dickens' Bleak House. No. So they oh, okay. talk about it, but yeah, yeah. I guess it wasn't really uh-huh. allowed to be spoken well, that's about, the, which is that's, really odd, eh? Right. That's you know that, what I mean? That's that Charles Dickens book that I talked about earlier, yeah. Yeah, but like, what the hell? Like, why yeah. Why was it such a big hushy-hushy thing? Well, here's another good point. If they say our bodies are like, what, 60 to 70% non-flammable water, how would that even be possible? I don't know. I, Unless you replace you slowly as you get, slowly as you age, the alcohol replaces the water. Oh, so that's maybe the I whole like Ukrainian pickling is like really true. Sure, drink vinegar and see what happens. Yeah, you drink your vodka, you get pickled, and then there you, you turn into a giant wick. You know, it says, I don't know. It says a lot for those other slack vegetables. Potato, you can make into vodka. Get your shit together, carrots or radishes that's right. or whatever. Come on, Frickin celery. Come on, come on, do your stupid shit. vegetables. Get your shit vegetables. together and become alcohol. That's right. All the fruit is fine. Fruit is fine. Because it's fermented. It's fine. The vegetables suck, right? That's right. Exactly. I got one more here that I want to mention that's pretty, pretty cool. And then we'll flag off on this one. Flag off. I don't know. It's not a word. <laughs> <That's pretty laughs> I'm making shit up as I go. Um, in 1967, a passenger on a bus in England noticed blue flames in the window of an apartment building hallway. She thought it was just was a gas jet and called the fire brigade. And when they got to the place, they supposedly found the body of a Robert Francis... Bailey, a homeless man, a fireman reported seeing a slit in the man's abdomen from which the blue flames were issuing. What? Oh my God! Okay, that's just door. creepy as hell. Oh, I don't know. That's alien shit right there. That is, yeah. Really? 
We don't need that. Let's just burn that stuff out of there. Holy I still want to do. I still want to do a, a ramble soda on alien blood because I have alien blood, right? So I do not, but my husband does. Oh yeah, what is he? O negative? No, he's like A B negative. Yeah, and I'm B negative. Like A positive. Yeah, so. and my brother's like O positive, I think. Really? Oh, that's yeah. Hmm. I know. I have yeah. no alien in me. So I have no Métis in me. Uh, what are my son is? I'm really you. curious what my son is. Do a DNA test. like some weird, weird conglomeration oh. of blood sources. Since you're my sister from another mister, happy sibling day. It's sibling day to Oh, you. happy sibling day to you as well. And, and a toast to Cheers. wherever. Cheers. Hang on, babe. i got to go back to the picture thing so I can choose you blink, in person. Blink. Where are you? There Here. we go. Yay. Clink. Clink. There we go. Clink. That's so obnoxious. Yay. People are going to be listening to the show. It's, it's, quit that shit. Anyway, and you know, now that I've got the, I told you I did the DNA test for myself last year and I did the DNA test for my dad before he passed, right? So wouldn't that be yeah. freaky? I was saying to Rick, wouldn't that be freaky if out of nowhere the res results come in today? Because every now and then I get updates if there's a second cousin or a fifth cousin and stuff. Wouldn't that be freaky if right, all right. of a sudden today I get like from the half sibling I'm supposed to have somewhere out there? You never know. Do, do, you do, never do, do, know. Right? Well, thank God I'm not in the dating scene anymore because that could be awkward. <laughs> Oh shit, that would be so terrible. I love you. You're so nice. Oh, he's my brother. You're okay. pretty. No. <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh my god. I'd be, I'm really curious. I would like to try that that genealogy thing because I do have a lot from like my mom's side. Yeah, yeah. But I have nothing from my dad's side. Like the Ukrainian yeah. was the it, Ukrainian was uh, was online he... service is just not that great. Weren't you saying it was when a, it comes or... to genealogy shit? Wasn't there a grandparent that was adopted or something? No. 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 Oh, okay parent has a grandparent that was adopted okay oh ages ago yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a complicated history there sure. but no my dad's family apparently from the ukraine was like they had like moolah i'm like i want to find some rich relative take care of me <laughs> my, my battery's getting low where's my cord where's my cord oh, no. i thought you were charging up before we started this trip. yeah i did i guess it just drained so Oh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, well, I got 18%. Let's see what we can do in 18%. Oh, you're bad. I know. But no, then no, 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 I'll no. charge. We'll get wine. We're all good. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm so, at 61. I'm good. Do you have anything else to add but no, to spontaneous? I don't think of Well, hey, if you've ever known anyone that burnt up in a big heap right. and pile mess, if you shoot yourself us a message, has please. ever been a victim, <laughs> <laughs> if you ever had a hot flash so bad you thought you were going to die. You thought you were going to... Feel free to share. <laughs> grab the fire extinguisher and douse yourself in a tub of water. Yeah. Contact us. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. yeah. No. Okay. But, no, that is really interesting. I remember watching that as a kid, and it's I always cool thought topic. it was fascinating. I really thought it was fascinating later on as an adult and mm -hmm. watching them try to... Recreate, recreate it. it. Yeah, for sure. Because you never really could recreate it exactly perfectly like it was in those pictures. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, it's just a strange and weird phenomenon. And I don't know. Here's my kind of creepy. Here's my cord. I'm going to plug, creepy. I'm gonna plug you in. <laughs> you plug me in. Plug me in. I need recharging anyway. Plug me in. Plug me in. No, you have to pick and choose you your trips all to the, the store. You know, Freaky people looking yeah. in the windows. <laughs> you have to pick and choose your trips to the store because you can't, long, long gone is the day that you can like go, go to four or five different stores in a day for the best price no, chicken or no. whatever you know ain't gonna be going to no stores if humanly possible ain't gonna happen nope so it sucks so if you wish to get a hold of us and definitely we encourage you to contact us we are available on all social platforms so yes Yay. facebook the gram the twitter the twit the twit i haven't looked at gram you know what honest to god i haven't mm -hmm. looked at gram for a while me neither i didn't totally gram list i know I'm, I don't know. I have just, no gram. Just didn't didn't have the patience for the gram lately. I'm just like Led Zeppelin. Thing. I have no quarter. That's an old reference. I just, but um, <laughs> I just didn't have the patience to look at it all. I don't know why that is, but because there's so much to filter through. I think you know. So there is. It's like an overload of bullshit, yeah. and it's just exhausting. Yeah, but if you like what we do, we're funny as shit, and we post some really kick-ass memes on Facebook. So have at her. Yeah, but, yeah. Show us Facebook the love. Us, man. Show us the ghost love. Pretty, we're nice. Yeah. Message we won't us. Bite you. Tell us where you're from because we know where you are. We're going to put up the picture hopefully this weekend of uh, our map, and uh, you can check that out. And and all the cool shit. I have all the. I'll, next episode, I'll read the list of 
destinations that we have people listening to us from. A lot of people in Toronto yep. lately. What up, Torontians? What, what's happening in the center of the universe there? Anyway. Yeah, Toronto. It's probably Toronto. warm as hell there. I know. Another epicenter almost, eh? Shit. Yeah, I know. Hell. Aside from Quebec. But nobody from Quebec listens yeah. to us, but that's okay. <laughs> that's mean. But yep. we... We wish nothing but love and support to everybody out there that's fighting this and staying at home. Be smart. Be, oh, yeah. Take care. Yeah. Plenty of time to mingle with your friends after the curve is squashed, right? So, yeah. yeah. Wear a freaking mask. I'm sorry, but it can help. That's right. It will. Yeah. yeah. No Wear a mask. mask. Wear a mask. You know? It may not be an N95, but it's better than nothing. Exactly. Because, you know, if you speak moistly, <laughs> it will stop oh. it from spreading. You know, I was I was starting to get my confidence one, and then you go and say shit like that. So I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna get <laughs> political. I'll just leave it like that. But Sherry, use your nice voice and tell us where do the kind people email us? Oh, at giving up the ghost podcast at gmail dot com. That's right. Damn it. Damn it. Don't be alone. Pick up the phone. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Oh, <laughs> we might I'm have sorry, to resort that. to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh still working goodness. from home now, touch wood. So we'll see what happens, right? Anyway, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> thanks for listening to us again. We're going to record another episode tonight. And uh, again, live every day like it is your last. Never give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost. Bye. <laughs> Blink. <laughs> and cover your mouth when you cough. <laughs>